often we have a question that we want to ask God, right? And we, we sit and we work through all the previous things we've heard from Him. And we go, well, do we still do this? Do we still do this? And sometimes that can be really confusing. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you and unpack for you what it looks like to actually look from the future to the present instead of the past to the present to the future to try and figure something out with God. Hi there, I'm Lisa Vandenberg from Salt Solutions Coaching, where we love empowering the 2.0 version of you. If you're new here, consider liking and subscribing because we talk every week about how to walk through everyday life with Jesus, the practical things of your daily life and how Jesus loves to do them with you. So come across and visit us at saltsolutionscoaching.com. Let's walk your journey with you too. So I have been talking to friends and a couple of clients lately, and it seems like we're in the season where uh, we're trying to figure out what's next. And I know in my own life, that's the season I'm in. Okay, all right, Lord, are we supposed to stay here? Are we supposed to go forward? Uh, have I missed something that I need to go back and do? And it can be you know, a place where we can feel stuck because we so want to do what God wants us to do. But sometimes it can, the pain of the current circumstance or just frustration or uh, thinking that this might not actually be the right track can make us be double-minded. And the Bible's very clear that when we're double-minded, God can't give us anything because faith in a single thing, faith in a, a way forward, in a, in a pathway, in faith in His Word is what takes us forward, right? So, there's a beautiful verse in um, Luke 2.52 that forms the basis of this. And it says, And Jesus kept increasing in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and men. And the beautiful principle here is that even Jesus continued to grow in wisdom. So he got more and more wisdom the older he got, the further into his ministry he got. He grew in stature, which meant he grew in his own character, in his way to do things, in his way to carry himself, in the way he thought about things, in the way he did things, in the way he uh, heard his father and it, it got expressed through him, right? But he grew in wisdom and, and stature with God and with man. So he grew in his ability to understand God, to walk in the wisdom of God. He grew in his character to where God could do things through him and trust him with things. And then he grew in that with man too. So men begin to look on him with more favor. Um, they begin to look on him like, oh, who is this? Let's pay some attention to it. So if Jesus gets to grow in wisdom and stature with God and men, so do we. Right. So I was talking to a client this morning, coaching client this morning, and um, again, we were on this topic of, all right, do I do this? Do I continue to do what I last heard to do? Um, is this the right pathway? Am I, am I hearing God properly? And what can happen when we get into that place is we can get a really stuck. And the picture I saw was that we may have a bowl of all the past, right? The past um, things you thought you heard God say, the, the things you have experience with, the things that have been successful before. And we have this pool of past things. And when we get into that spiral of frustration of, should I still be doing this? Should I be going forward? We can often look back into the pool of past things and go, oh, am I really still supposed to be doing this? Am I really supposed to be here? Am I supposed to be friends with this person? Am I supposed to be doing this for business? Is this the way I'm getting money? And we can get stuck in that. And as we look at that, we try to bring the past into the present, right? But if we are going to be growing in wisdom and stature, then what if, and we go from glory to glory, right? What if that then looks like drawing from the future, the wisdom of God, the lessons he has for us to grow in stature with him and with men, and we get to actually pull from the future to the present, right? That instead of trying to figure stuff out with stuff that's in the past, we get to look forward to what's in the future and do it from there. And so as we do, first of all, it helps us to realize that this is the wisdom of God that we're going to look at. We don't know the future yet, right? We get to go and look at this and draw it back. So it brings this real um, expectation that God is going to show us something that we don't know, whether it's a, 
a way to do something or a, a pathway to go. We don't know, but it can set us up for this expectancy of the goodness of God, right? David said, where would I be in the land of the living? If, where would I be if I hadn't expected the goodness of God in the land of the living, right? So first of all, it gives us this expectancy of the goodness of God. Second of all, it gives us a whole lot of hope, right? Because God is always, Romans 8, 28 is a beautiful verse with this. It says, uh, because God loves us and he is constantly turning all things for good because we love him and we're called according to his purpose. So that means whatever may not have worked in the past, whatever may be done with, the season may be done with it. God can take all of that and he's working it together for good because we love him and we're called according to his purpose. And so it gives us this hope that God is just building building things up and up and up. We're going from glory to glory in Him, right? And then third of all, it gives us, it gets us out of this whirlpool of concentration on the past, on constantly thinking about the past things and, and questioning ourselves, questioning our decisions, questioning, are we, do we have enough faith? Do we have enough? Did we hear God properly? You know, all of, all of the things that can really keep us stuck. And so when we're, when we're going to the pool of wisdom of what's to come from the glory to glory that God's uh, talked talk to us about, and when we're growing in wisdom and stature with Him, when we look to Him and draw from that future wisdom to the present on what we get to do, then we're empowered to actually walk forward with a forward look, with a glory to glory look, with a, I'm already a new man. I'm getting to walk this out with the Lord. I'm getting to grow in maturity. I'm getting to grow in wisdom with God and with the people around me. And so it draws us towards the good, glorious future that the Lord has for us, which, which takes our present and it tells the present what to do, going towards the future, as opposed to trying to dig around in the past and create something for now, right? Doesn't that give us so much hope? And it gives us this ability to be able to deal with these thoughts that keep us stuck. And that's what we do with our coaching clients. A lot of our coaching clients come to us for either one of two reasons. Either they're stuck and they don't know how to get out of it. And the Lord showed me one day, it's like you're in your vehicle. You're in your chosen vehicle. You've got your foot on the gas, but your wheels are stuck in the mud. And you just need somebody to come and lift your wheels up because you can't put your foot on the gas and lift your wheels up at the same time. It's impossible. That's why we're in the body of Christ. We get to do this together. You need somebody to pick your wheels up and put you back on the road again, right? So people either come to us because they're stuck and they want to gain that, that further momentum again, or they come to us because they want to accelerate. They want to go into all of this glory to glory with the Lord um, and really be on track with their lives. So they come find out their purpose and their identity so that they can be on the right track with the Lord. And so we take our coaching clients through these various parts. We have a beautiful framework that the Lord's given us, and we've had so many clients see massive breakthrough. We take them through this framework that helps us to no longer concentrate on the past, but draw from the future and be able to go forward in the plans of God with a whole lot of hope and excitement and doing what it is that he's called you to do in this season, at this moment with the people around you and for his purposes to happen through you now. Ah, so exciting. So as always, Jesus is inviting you on this adventure today. Will you accept? Come across and visit us at thoughtsolutionscoaching.com. Let's walk with you through places that you're stuck and let's get you back on the road again and accelerate your journey in the purposes of God and the timing of God and the season of God so that you know that you're in the groove that he created you to be in. So I bless you, bless you, bless you. And I'll see you next time.